Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. We're going to be taking a look at combining jQuery and PHP to create a instant search uh, engine, I guess, um, and these values are going to be taken from a database. Now the first thing we're going to take a look at is the database itself, so let's go over to um, PHP My Admin. I have a database called jQuery and a table here called places. Now this has got seven different records. Uh, we have a unique place ID which is an auto incrementing uh, field, an integer field. We've got place which is the place that we're going to be searching for in our form here. So for example when I start to type LON the uh, record London would be matched. If I was to go ahead and type CH for example in here uh, we would have CH uh, in the Manchester, so Manchester would become a result uh, as well as Chorley because we've got a CH here. So we're not really creating anything that's searching uh, multiple keywords, for example, in a description or in a keywords field, but you can go ahead and use PHP if you, if you understand the language uh, to go ahead and develop this further. We're just really going to be focusing uh, on the jQuery part of this and returning it instantly as we type. So now that you've seen the records in the database, let's go ahead and actually start to search for something. And the first thing I'm going to search for is London. Uh, you'll notice that when I start to type in here, uh, we'll have this record returned instantly. And also some other dynamic information such as the search results. So let's go ahead and start to type L. The first thing you'll notice is we have six results returned. Uh, that's because uh, L is contained within these titles London, Feltham, Chorley, Sheffield, Leeds and Scotland. We have uh, L in all of these. When we start to go ahead and filter this down you can see that not only is the search that we're typing in updating uh, but the results filter down as well. So I guess you could go ahead and implement this in some kind of filter system uh, once you've performed a search. Uh, but otherwise if we go ahead and search for something, for example then Scotland, uh, you'll see we return a result here. Uh, again, the example I gave earlier, if we search for CH, uh, this returns two results because we've got CH in Manchester and CH here in Chorley. So, this is how the uh, application works, or the, uh, the script works. Um, we're going to be doing quite a bit of PHP development, however this can be integrated uh, and used with other development languages, other server-side languages. Uh, so as long as you're familiar with PHP data, well, MySQL databases or MySQL databases uh, and some PHP you'll understand this. However, obviously our main focus is returning these instantly with jQuery. So with the example out of the way we can go ahead and actually start to write this out. Okay, so over to our text editor we have um, a few pages and I'm just going to explain a little bit about what each page does and how they link with each other. We've obviously got our index.php page which at the moment is blank in our browser, we don't have any form elements uh, and obviously we've got our database just here which is um, you know just, uh, well we'll go over to the structure and take a look. Uh, we've got place ID which is an integer which isn't extremely important uh, but obviously we have a primary key in our database. Place is the uh, obviously the option or the text we're going to be searching for and then we just have a short description just to fill in some of the results. Um, this all happens uh, or this is all displayed inside index.php so we're going to have a form element which is an input field uh, with type text and then we're going to have a div area underneath which is going to display our results. We have search.js which is going to handle uh, the key up event uh, with regards to the input field and we're going to need to include this search.js file on our page. So we'll go ahead and do that now. We do this exactly the same as uh, how we included jQuery, so js forward slash jQuery. All my JavaScript files are kept in a folder called js. Uh, the type for this is going to be text forward slash JavaScript and the source is js forward slash search.js. You can see this is located in the js folder. So uh, that is search.js. So like I said, this, this file is going to handle uh, the key up event for the input field we're going to write in just a moment. Now search.php is the file that's going to be called, uh, or the request, the HTTP request, or AJAX request, is going to be sent to search.php. 
and search.php is going to work exactly like a normal PHP script. We're going to pass a variable from search.js which will be the input field uh, value and that will be picked up in search.php. We'll run a few validation checks, we're not looking too much into PHP but uh, this will essentially just return the results from the uh, database. And we have db.php which is going to connect to our MySQL server and then select our database ready for use. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is design our form and the div area that we're going to display results in. So all we really need is an input field and this is type text and we need to go ahead and give this an ID so we can reference this inside jQuery or in our search.js file. So the input ID is going to be search. Now underneath this we need an area where our results are displayed so I'm going to create a div just here and I'm going to give it the ID search underscore results. 